looks like a really crappy situation. <laughs> Hello and happy Thursday. Welcome to another video, another day on the farm. The boys, well I should say, Mason and Greg are working on something with the manure spreader in the shed right now. Dalton's hauling heifers. I'm here because it's Thursday and we um, clean the calf barn every Thursday and it is freaking bright out today, holy crap. Um, and then Avery is soil sampling today. So even though harvest is over, obviously you still see the corn head behind me, even though harvest is over, there is still literally so much to be doing on the farm all day, all the time. So, let's get after it. This looks like a really crappy situation. <laughs> My least favorite change, change on the whole farm. <laughs> what happened? Wreckage uh, happened. Bearing out and the chain is dirt. We don't use these very often, only three days a year for sand, three or four, depends on how much sand is in the manure pit, and we then they sit patch the them together, and then they sit <laughs> the weeds for 362 days, but you gotta dig them out, make them work, so up in the manure pit at the dairy, uh, he puts like 500 truckloads of sand in there, and we have to haul it out, mm -hmm. so. So this is the rig. This is one of them, we usually get five, rounded up. Shout out Coon. Yep. And send us a new one. <laughs> yep. Mason, you look like you like rolled out of bed just now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look kind of messy. Yeah. <laughs> you got anything to say? No. No. Make your dog black quick. Oh, she'd love that. Anything to get dirty. Mm -hmm. You're going to help us clean the calf barn? No. Why not? Because are you going to help me pull the equipment off? No. Then I'm not helping you. Can you explain what you did? We pulled the baiter out there. Took that, well, we took that pan off. Pan and off? We pulled the baiter out. What's that the way. beater? Right there. The that pan, thing? Yeah. It throws the poo. Okay. Pulled it out. There's a bearing behind here. Okay. Took the bearing off. Put the bearing on. Now we have a more wreckage of a chain. So I put the chain in. So you're not done. You're still doing things. We just have to put the chain in. Okay. Well, inquiring minds want to know. Mm -hmm. Inquiring minds can come do this job. I hate it. You're not really selling it as a good job for people Super to come fun. do. You get dirty. Smell like poo. Spirits are high. <laughs> Wear a white shirt because it'll be black when you're done. We did drain the oil out of it this time. Usually we don't. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing because otherwise there's oil up to here and then you got oil up to your elbows. Oh. And it's usually icy and cold and miserable. Again, a great job for people to come do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to go clean the calf barn. Take Have fun. Help. Have fun. Are you going to stay in here? Help. No, she's not a good help. She sucks at helping. No. Well, it appears somebody got out because here's manure and here's the pen there and <laughs> nobody's supposed to be out here. Is this one of you guys? 
I'm not gonna go too in depth on how we clean our craft bar just because it's just, again, not a very fun job. Um, and I don't know, maybe I'll, well, we've already done a video on cleaning our calf barn, but basically what we do is we move them out of each pen. So we clean one pen at a time. I already moved them out of the far pen. That's like, so we have four pens. Let me just explain this again. We have four pens, one, two, three, four. We move them out and clean them kind of in that order. So we technically clean like one, three, two, four, just because that's the easiest way we can move the calves out of their pen, if that makes any sense. So I already moved them out of pen one and then I just moved them out of pen three right now while I'm waiting for Dalton to come and start scraping out pen one. And I go through the pitchfork, just like pitch some shit, <laughs> pitch the crap. And then Dalton comes through again, scrapes it all. And then we put barn lime down, more fodder, move the calves back in and yeah, it's like a two hour process for us probably. I can say is I was really dumb for thinking I needed a hat and a car hard on today because I am <laughs> sweating. It's like 40 something degrees out, but I can't take my hat off because my hair is just disgusting underneath. It's <laughs> not that you guys needed to know that, but anyway, it's hot out, warm. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to our guy, Mike, who's been watching these videos. He gives us a super thanks on every single video. And I don't know how, if, like you guys don't even understand how much support like that means to us. So shout out to Mike. Thank you so much for all the super thanks and all just watching, subscribing, liking, doing all the things, commenting. You're a real one. We've got a farm cat, Rhonda, who won't get off me. She won't get off me. Shame. All clean. The barn is all clean. All I have to do is open up this last gate and the calves are already all sorted into their pens and we're all down here. Also, it took us like three hours to do this. Normally, it takes us less than like around two hours. So, I don't know why it took us that long today, but oh well. Now, what's going on? test run for this dinosaur. <laughs> it seems to work. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. yeah, there's some poo. What's that? Some poo came out, so yep. that... Yep, that's what it's supposed to do. Ronnie's coming back from Holland Corn. Yep. Look at that, what a day. A big day, Roger meeting back. But Roger left earlier. Yeah. Come here, dear. Come here. Uh oh. There we go. There she goes. Hello. Hey, 
Okay, let's go behind. There we go. How long of a video do you want? <laughs>